Hey, it's Carolyn Tiger, and I am here with your five minute fix. And today we're going to be talking about the law of non resistance. This is something I really like. It's one of my favorites. Uh, Raymond Hollywell has a book called The Law, or something to that effect, The Law. And in there, he covers 11 different laws of the universe. And one of them is the law of non resistance. And I'm going to read to you what the law of non resistance is. It says that it requires you to notice when you are holding thoughts that actually resist the greater good that would flow naturally into your life. So what happens is we're out there living our lives and there's all these wonderful things that would be flowing abundantly into our world and we choose through our lack of understanding to resist it. We don't let it flow and come to us just like we want it to or we think it should. We are really the ones holding it back. It's not the universe, it's not God, it's us. We're breaking the law and not allowing those things to flow into us. It's, it also says in there, if a man resists a situation, he will have it always with him. What are you resisting? What are you resisting that enables and just keeps showing up in your life? Another great book I love is The Game of Life and How to Play It. You've probably heard me mention it many times. And in that book, Florence Scovel, Scovel Shin, the author, she relates the story of a woman who needed to go to the bank. And she had this great fear of ladders. <laughs> and there was a ladder over the doorway into the bank. And so she, she couldn't go in. She left. She went and called up. Florence and said, I can't go in. There's a ladder there. It's blocking me. I can't get into the bank and I really need to go. And she was advised by Florence to just willingly accept that the ladder will not be there. All is well. God is in charge of the universe. And this, if I let go of resistance to this, it won't be there. So she pulled herself together and went back to the bank knowing that all would be well and somehow she'd be able to get in there and the ladder was gone. And she was able to walk into the bank without trouble. And that's how it is in our lives. We have so many things that are wonderful and waiting for us, but we're holding back. We're not allowing them to come into our lives. We are not holding true to the law of non-resistance. So keep that in mind the next time that you find something is just popping up left and right. And you know, it's the same problem over and over and it's holding you back and you can't figure out why. Go forward, recognize that, hey, you know what? I just need to not resist this. And when I do, all of the sudden, it will flow easily. It's like water. Think about a stream. When you see a stream in a mountain, it starts way at the top where the snow is melting. And this is this little tiny trickle. And it comes down and, oh, it runs into a tree. Does it stop and say, oh, no, there's a horrible tree here. I'm going to have to build up lots and lots of power behind this and move this tree so I can keep going. No, it just goes around the tree and continues down. And when, when this little stream starts, it's really windy and it goes around boulders and trees. It'll even go around a little clump of dirt. But as it continues to grow, it gets bigger and bigger and stronger. And then all of a sudden, its path gets wider and it becomes easier. And that's how it is for us. We have to recognize that this tree in front of us, it's not an obstacle. Let's just go around it. Let it not be in our path. Let it direct me another way and just harmoniously move on to the next step. And that's what the law of non-resistance is all about. So when you're floating around and trying to figure out why life is so hard and why all these obstacles are in your way, apply the law of non-resistance. Recognize that you are a little stream and you are building your strength and you're just trying to figure out how and it's okay to go around that tree and not resist it. So that's your five minute fix for today. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.